What is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back on the uh, the Wicked Valley map in Spin Tires, and today we're actually back with a Land Rover Discovery rather than the Jeep Cherokee that we had before, and uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I wanted to use a different vehicle, um, just plain and simple, and two, I've, 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 I've kind of found the Jeep Cherokee to be not top-heavy, but just a little bit difficult to manage in some of these sections. Granted, this Land Rover isn't much better, um, in these sections of the map, they're just difficult. I mean, that's what you gotta deal with, they're just difficult, but... The only thing about this Land Rover is it's not quite as fast as the Jeep was, but it's a little bit more stable. So it's actually it's actually not that much harder to uh, to maneuver through these obstacles. Now that rock, the really massive rock that we had a problem with in the last episode, um, I actually went around that, and I would not call that cheating because that rock is almost impossible to get over unless you have a dedicated crawler. And I get that this map is for dedicated crawlers, but at the same time. This, uh, Land Rover is not a dedicated crawler. So, I mean, it can crawl, but again, it's not a dedicated crawler. So, I think it's, I think it's pretty, pretty much okay that we just bypassed it. If we can get, oh my god, does the road really, yeah, it does. It runs along the edge like that, holy crap. Now, from what I've heard, this point, from this point on, the map just kind of gets harder. And I'm starting to see that already, the road just kind of does its own thing. Um, these ruts would not exist in real life. I guarantee you they wouldn't. I mean, look at that. What kind of vehicle could straddle that unless, like I said, a dedicated crawler with, like, a, a couple of miles worth of suspension travel? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drive along this ridge. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Look at, okay, look at how we're tripoded right now. That is not a very balanced position for an off-roader. Ooh, boy. Almost took a dive the other direction and ate it. And actually... I'm curious because... The road just seems to head for that rock. And- Oh, come on! Most of the vehicles that I've been driving lately have enough torque to just be able to switch into high going uphill. This one doesn't. This one you just like, you stay in low, and then you're like, I kind of want to go to high. And you go to high, and it's like, oh, maybe not. So you're like, never mind. Where does the road go? What the heck? That's weird. Does it go over the edge? I gotta get to the edge of the thing and look. Yes, yes it does. No. No. Oh, God, we're not doing that. We're going around the other side. I don't care that that's where the road goes. We're not going that way. I don't, I'd rather not die, like, three minutes into the video. I'd really rather not. Only thing is, this side, this way isn't much better, but... Well, it's a little bit better. The incline is not quite as severe. Although you do have to climb down in this little kind of funky section, but it's not, ooh. Come on, oh wow. <laughs> Approach angle for days, not really. Yep, that's legitimately, wow, that's where it suppo is supposed to come out. I'm almost certain that you're not supposed to use high at all on this map. It's almost worthless. It's worthless in a lot of ways because you can't use it. Like, you would never be able to make these turns fast enough, nor would you be able to carry the amount of momentum needed to get up over these, uh, over these, like, these humps and these hills with enough moment. Well, I shouldn't say with enough momentum. You could have the momentum, you would just flip. Looks like somebody's been doing some logging on this map. I don't know how you would, though. I don't know how you'd get freaking log trailers back here. This is insane. That used to be an island of sorts. Get, oh dear. That's, uh, that's gone well. Little bit of a swamp slash mud hole. Looks like it was just like, you know, a little tame, like, creek cross, creek, uh, crossing. Not quite so. Now, our next section doesn't look too bad. It looks just like, kind of like your standard, kind of like standard crawling, a little bit of a hill, but not too, not too strenuous or ridiculous. It's funny because it reminds me, it's funny because sometimes when I play spin tires, 
it reminds me of, you know, some of the off-roading that I'll do with friends. And I did some off-roading recently. It's hilarious. A friend of mine has a geo, uh, an old, I can't re even remember the, the year, but it was an old geo tracker. And, um, he's about to sell it and, uh, he's about to sell it and get a Miata. But the, the funny thing about off-roading in that thing was that it's on pretty much the standard tires and it's not lifted at all. But the thing is so light that it just kind of scampers up over everything, and it's quick off-road. It's it's actually freakishly quick off-road. Can we get grip? That's the question. Possibly. Possibly. We have made progress. Don't dig in. That'd suck if the thing started to dig in. Yes, there we go. Oh, come on! I promise we can do this one without a winch. Oh, I really feel like we can. I'll let it roll back just a little bit because I feel like if we just get the proper angle on that, we can easily get through it without winching. Come on, come on! Yes! There we go! Come on! Oh, it was doing it! It was doing it for a split second! It was almost there, actually! God, this thing is so close! It's so close to get- Yes! There it is! Not bad! Not bad. I really wanted to get through that without winching, and I'm so glad we succeeded with that, because that's, that's like a real feeling of victory when you complete something like that. I'm really glad that didn't just drop off on the other side. <laughs> Oop, n never mind. Can we? Okay, yeah, it's just a steep downhill. I was just making sure it didn't go down into, like, a lake or something. Goes down to a bit of a gully, though. wanted a little bit more turning radius and I because I didn't want to lock that I wish you could lock like the uh, I wish it had independent lockers on the front and the rear because if it did you'd be able to make turns a lot easier uh, without you know without the the kind of the hassle of having to have the front and rears locked all at once definitely lobbying for that feature uh, for some, I don't know, for some modder to make, or, or, or for it to come in some update. But yeah, independent lockers would be awesome. Like, front to rear. We can put it in high here, there's no problem with that. Normally we can't, but this is just kind of like, we're just cruising. This is actually a really easy part of the map. I didn't expect, I didn't expect any of the map after that point, uh, after like the large rock to be this easy. We make it, oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, it, it goes from being, you know, just a tame, just like, you know, a tame kind of average off-road trail to all of a sudden needing a fully built rock crawler to deal with. So that's kind of where this map is a little bit sporadic, and it's, it's actually kind of nice because you never know what the map is going to throw at you, but at the same time, you, it can be a little bit iffy to deal with because you're like, uh, what's, it's like, what's coming next? What's coming next? Just inching over everything, keeping it in low. I'm actually going to avoid that mud hole. Just because it looks like the angle to exit the mud hole on the other side is so steep that we might as well not mess with it. We just don't have the, the approach angle on the front to deal with it. And we don't have the torque to just pop it in high and, and launch in high. We can cut that corner. Doesn't really matter. so funny because the suspension on this thing doesn't have a ton of flex so it'll tripod all the time and I mean it's hilarious just to see it tripod over these hills not even hills just bumps and rises in the terrain fuel stop we need well I don't know we didn't really need it but I'll definitely take fuel if I get the chance that's a really wide radius for us to be allowed to fill up in for sure just stop real quick so we can fill up Filled up, and yeah, it's gonna stall, so we need to pop it in low, and then just shoot it straight up to high, so like, no big deal. I 
I do like the trails on this map a lot, though. Did... No. No, no, no. Is it sending us back the same way? What? That's... Let me back up. Let me back up real quick, because I feel like I must have missed something. If it's sending us back around that same way... God, I feel like we've come too far for it to just send us back the same way. There's gotta be another road. Gotta be another road tied into this one. There... Wow, there seriously is not another road that's tied into that one. That's ridiculous. That's that's absolutely ridiculous. But I tell you what, guys, I, I I know there's another road around here, and I feel like I feel like I can, if I just look around for a bit, I'll find it. But that's what we're gonna be finding out in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.